Hello all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am again back with an, uh, another interesting topic. So let's learn something new. Couple of uh, months back, uh, I've created a video on uh, the checklist of uh, different uh, configuration items whenever you are implementing a advanced global intercompany system module. So in my current video, I'll be covering two configuration items as part of the particular checklist. So if you have not watch that particular video, please check the description uh, section of my current video. So the first important thing is creating up the AGIS intercompany org, and then I'll cover uh, the receivable assignments. So for creating up the AGIS intercompany org, the first prerequisite is you should have created the concerned legal entity in your uh, legal entity manager uh, or legal, legal entity configurator or agent ledger module. So again, uh, I have created a separate video on how to create a legal entity. I can check the description section of my current video. So once the legal entity is created, then you can assign or you can uh, you can make that particular legal entity as the AGI's intercompany. Oh, now let's see how we can do that. So this is my org structure. So in my org, uh, uh, I have uh, these ledgers and under these ledgers, I have these legal entities and under these legal entities these are the different operating units so let me pick one legal entity as an example maybe reliance telecom and let's see how we can create reliance uh, telecom legal entity as the agis intercompany arc so that we can use that particular intercompany arc to create the agis intercompany transaction so let's get into Let's get into the uh, intercompany super user responsibility. I'm under intercompany super user responsibility setup organizations. So search for uh, legal entity. So my legal entity is Reliance Telecom. So Reliance Telecom is my legal entity. <coughs> Select this legal entity. So when you are creating a legal entity, you specify the legal entity name as well as the organization name. So that's how this is appearing here. So obviously in most of the cases, generally you mention this uh, legal entity name, same as your organization name. Again, check my uh, uh, video on how to create a legal entity. There you'll be able to see uh, the organization name field. Okay. So select uh, this particular row, click on update. I have already created this particular uh, intercompany org as the, uh, this legal entity as the intercompany org and hence you are able to see the enable flag as yes. But otherwise, by default, it will be no, make it as yes and also assign the appropriate operating unit for this particular uh, uh, AGI's intercompany org. So basically this operating unit is required if you are trying to create your uh, AGIS uh, subledger related intercompany transaction. As you know, from AGIS, you can create two kinds of transactions. One is creating up the subledger invoices another one is directly sending the transactions from AGS to GL. If you are sending the, uh, if you are just creating only GL related AGS intercompany transaction, then this is not required. But if you try to create your subledger related invoices uh, using your, uh, this intercompany org, then you should assign the corresponding operating unit as well. And then after that, click on finish. So that's it. So this is the step. Uh, this is one of the a critical step uh, in your uh, AGI's uh, implementation. So this is how you need to search for all the legal entities and then try to update the intercompany classification flag as yes and assign the operating unit. So that is the first step. And the next config item uh, is receivable assignments. It would be under uh, setup invoicing options, receivable assignment. So what is the significance of this receivable assignment? So receivable assignment is basically, uh, let me pick up again Reliance Telecom as an example. So what it says is basically, whenever you try to create your subledger related uh, uh, invoices from the AGIS module, by default, all those AR invoices will have the invoice type or transaction type in AR as an intercompany. And uh, obviously, as these are coming from AGIs, the uh, uh, transaction batch source would be global intercompany. 
and a memo line will be global intercompany. That's the memo line which is used. And this is the default invoice type, and this is the default create memo. But if you have a requirement to assign a different transaction type, that is, if you do not want your subledger uh, related AR invoices which are created from AGS to have this particular uh, default transaction type, but if you want something else, then you can do the mapping here. So you know to do that. So here, these are the default ones. So click on add assignments. In the add assignments, what you need to do is this transaction type, whatever we are seeing here, this is the AGS transaction type. So even in AGS, whenever you are creating a transactions, you have something called transaction type. So here you are doing a mapping. If I am trying to create any AGS intercompany transactions with this specific AGS transaction type. So let me pick up say this one. This is the AGS transaction type. Again, again, check the description section of my current video wherein uh, 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 I've mentioned uh, uh, the URL of a video on how to create AGS transaction type. So if subledger invoices is my AGS transaction type for all the AGS intercompany transactions which are created using AGS transaction type of subledger invoices, what should I want the corresponding AR transaction type? So when you click on the drop down, the drop down will show the all the transaction types, AR transaction types available in the system under this operating unit of Reliance Telecom in my example. So these are all the concerned AR transition types. So I just want to maybe use this one. Similarly, memo line, again, this is the default memo line, but if you want to use something else, click on this. Again, the dropdown will show all the memo lines which are available in the system under this operating window of Reliance Telecom. So these are all the standard uh, memo lines which are available in the system. So I just used again the same thing, global intercompany because my requirement is to only uh, use a different transaction type, but the memo line, I just want to use the same thing. And again, even for the credit memo, if I want to use a different credit memo, I can use different, or I can use again the same intercompany scheme. So in this case, maybe I'll go for a different credit memo. So I just want to use maybe yeah, this one. And then click on apply. So that means, if I try to create any AGIs intercompany invoice with this particular AGIs transition type, then system will automatically create those invoices with this AR invoice type and this memo line. And if I try to create any AGIs invoice with any other AGIs transition type other than this, then for those cases, system will use these default values. So now let me show you, get into your accounts receivable, Reliance Telecom. I can give you, show you one example of the transaction which is already available in the system. Global intercompany, I just want to search all the invoices. See, this is one example. By default, your transition type is intercompany and your transition by source, anyhow, we cannot change this. It will be global intercompany. Transaction uh, type, AI yeah, transition type will be intercompany. And uh, this is the default memo line. And in our current case, if you look at this example, if I try to create any AGS invoice with this uh, transaction type, then that will have those invoice, I mean, those transactions when it pushed into AR will have the AR transition type of invoice instead of intercompany and your memo line again we have selected the same thing so it will be same otherwise if you want you can create your own memo line and then assign that so this is how you create your agis intercompany ox as well as the concerned receivable assignment so maybe in my next video i'll cover a few more uh, config items uh, related to agis thank you thanks for watching my video for interesting videos on oracle financials please do subscribe to my channel thank you